Hey guys, Nick here with ZZ Diesel to go over another kit we put together uh, to reseal, fix a leak um, on your fuel lines on your 6-7 power strokes. So common places where they leak are from the O-ring connection uh, at the tank, on the feed in the return, as well as at the filter head. So this will cover the uh, HC3Z9J338L, which is the, the fuel line kit connection at the tank, as well as the HC3Z9A274-A filter connector. Inside of all the connections, you will see a double O-ring seal. Typically, they, they start swelling or they got cut, uh, they'll, they'll start leaking on you. And uh, only option is to replace the full line. Um, might be in a situation where you don't want to do that. You just want to replace the seals. Um, so we put together an O-ring kit, sized up, actually had the O-rings made to Ford size. Um, because it isn't a size you can just pick up over the over the counter at your local store or even an O-ring supplier. So, um, biggest thing when removing them, we actually supply a O-ring uh, lip seal tool. So when you pull out the O-ring, you work the tool in around the back side of the O-ring, get it to fold into the line, so you can hook it and pull it out. Then you'll see a separator plastic piece in there. Um, they're black, so they're really hard to see because uh, it, it blends in with the connector body itself. Easiest way I found was to pull it all the way up to the top with your tool. So that's right up underneath the actual housing of the connector so that you can get at the lower O-ring once you're able to get it folded in on itself, you should be able to reach in there and get it slide out. Again, there is a separator piece of plastic in there. So you don't want to locate that, know where that's at. When you grab your O-ring packet, we have them all labeled. So this is the short fuel line blue connector side, the one we just removed. You have a black and a brown. Okay, so we're going to... Put the brown O-ring on the inner most part there. On all the connectors, the brown O-ring will go in first. <clears throat> Again, the easiest way is to get it folded in on itself, start it in there. You got that first one in there, you're gonna take in with the tool, push down that separator clip, seating that first O-ring all the way down into the bottom of the connector body there giving you the second O-ring groove to put the black one in the top. All right, so now when you got the O-rings installed, you can reinstall it on the truck. Should give you a great seal. Every connector has replacement O-rings in the kit. They're only sold as a kit. And the brown O-ring goes in first, the black O-ring goes in second. Make sure you get that separator clip between the two O-rings. Keep proper placement on the line. You can find this part number on our website uh, ZZ-0147. Fix your leaky fuel lines, guys. Thanks for watching.